this demonstration, you learn how to perform the installation for ANSYS Electronics Release 19 on the Windows platform. Before proceeding, close all Windows applications, download the ANSYS product files from the ANSYS customer portal, have administrator access to the installation, extract the product file to an accessible directory. Note the hostname and port of your licensed server machine. This tutorial will begin in the location of the ANSYS EM 19.0 product extracted files. Double click the auto run.exe. This brings up the ANSYS Electromagnetics installation shell screen. The installation shell presents a list of all the software included in the full package. We'll install the Electromagnetic Suite. You can also install distributed simulation technologies if you need to configure distributed solves to a remote machine without using a scheduler. This includes the Electronics RSM solve management service and supported MPI installations. You'll also be given the option to install Electronics RSM at the end of installing the EM Suite. Layout integrations for ECAT adds ANSYS A-Links menu items and third-party layout tools. For now, click Install Electromagnetic Suite. This launches the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite Windows 64-bit edition dialog. Click Next to continue. Read the ClickWrap software license agreement completely. If you agree to the terms, click Yes to proceed with the installation. Now you can choose where to install the ANSYS EM products on your computer. Accept the default installation directory or you may enter your own directory. Click Next to continue. Next, specify the temporary directory location. This directory will be used as scratch space for the solvers to do their work, so it should be on a fast local disk with adequate free space. Modify the path of your temp directory if required. If you need to grant read-write access on the temp directory to other people running remote simulations on this machine, check this checkbox. We'll just accept the default here and select Next to continue. Select the option This Local Library Installation. Most users will use the local option. If you're working in an environment with the shared set of common libraries, you could set that up here. Click Next to continue. This dialog asks about integrating ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite with the corresponding suite of ANSYS Workbench, in this case with ANSYS Workbench 19.0. If you have the Workbench already installed and you choose Yes, this adds the ANSYS EM Analysis products to the Workbench menu. If you don't want to integrate with the ANSYS Workbench right now, you can always do this step at a later time. Click Next to continue. Next, you will need to tell the software how to find licenses. You will select from one of the three options. If you have an ANSYS provided license and want to set reference based on it, select I have a new license file. If you know the machine hostname and port of the license server machine, select I want to specify a license server. If you already have licensing set up from a prior ANSYS EM release and want to keep the same configuration, select I want to keep the current license configuration. We'll set up licensing specifying the license server. Specify the license server computer hostname. If your organization is running a redundant triad server configuration, then select Specify Redundant Servers option and enter the names of all three servers. The idea of the redundant servers is to maintain license availability in the event of a hardware failure on one license server. If you're not sure you're using a single or redundant license server, check with your system administrator. Finally, you will need to enter the TCP IP port number that the license manager is running on. The ANSYS license manager uses port 1055 by default but your organization may change that. Check with your systems administrator if you're not sure. Click Next to continue. Now ensure the other Windows applications are closed and review these settings. Notice this dialog gives the available and required disk space. If you're satisfied with the settings, click Next to complete the installation. The installation wizard now installs the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite. This may take a little while. Select OK. After installation completes, you get the option to set up remote simulation. This option launches the installer for the Remote Simulation Manager and allows you to register your ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite installation with it. RSM allows your computer to run simulations from a remote machine. Press Finish and exit the dialog. The original installation shell window appears now. Press Exit to complete the installation. Notice the installation has created desktop shortcuts for the electronics products. This concludes the installation demonstration of the ANSYS Electromagnetic Suite 19 on the Windows platform.